Happy Mask Monday! Hey guys, it's Jean and Amanda. Happy Mask Monday. It is actually Monday and it is, oh, it's probably about 20 to 9 in the morning and um, I, I wasn't going to do a Mask Monday, but um, I did want to try these peel off masks because, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, this is Freeman Clearing Pomegranate Peel Off Face Mask. So it's clear. Um, and we'll see how it goes. It's, you know, when they're clear, it's, it's a, I think it's going to be a bit harder because you just, I don't know. So we're trying this right now. So it's on my face, it's percolating, it's cooking. And um, a lot of people have reached out to me via email and um, Instagram, wanted to know how Amanda's doing. And I definitely wanted to update you all on how Miss Amanda is doing. So, <clears throat> quick backstory, she had a large cyst on her back that the vets have been keeping an eye on you know, every time we go, they look at it. They weren't going to remove it. Um, unless it became an issue or um, when she had her dental surgery. Because um, it was big. It was big. And it was filled with blood. But it didn't bother her or anything like that. So she ended up rubbing up against something and it started to bleed. So we kept an eye on it for a couple of days but it just wasn't getting better. Um, so took her to the vet on Saturday and um, they did some work on her <laughs> um, because it had started to bleed and ooze. There was a lot. I And I did my best to put hot compresses on it, you know, not hot, warm. Um, you know, to keep it clean and that kind of thing, but it got very matted and I didn't know, and the vet didn't know that it was actually very heavy and it was making the skin underneath necrotic or dye. So, um, we went into the vet, nah, my vet, I just love them. They're, I, will not change vets even though it's about an hour and a half from where I live now but I've been going to them for quite some time and they are super people I just I love them um so we continue to go to them even if I have to travel <laughs> however far so bring her in and um you know they had to shave away um all this all the matted hair and um they also did warm compresses because they just they wanted to get all that stuff and this the dead tissue away and they're like e -e -e, this, if this is you know if the skin is really bad we're gonna have to do surgery but luckily they were able to get everything off there was not a whole lot of um dead tissue and she did so, so good. Um, I got to, you know, go in. The vet hasn't been um, allowing people in. Um, they just started allowing one person in with the, you know, wearing a mask and, and um, going in with the pet. So, um, you know, I held her, the vet tech held her, and the vet, you know, did her thing. Lots of saline and you know she did so good she just did so good and she's like a new dog <laughs> it must have really it must have been bothering her and I feel bad um, because Amanda doesn't she doesn't cry she's not one that uh, you know if you accidentally step on her paw she doesn't yelp she 
just moves away. You know, she doesn't, I don't know if her pain tolerance is high um, or, or what, but she did not whimper at all. She was just so, so good. And um, she had to go, you know, I was taking her in. She needed her, um, you know, her yearly exam and all that, but the, she needed a lot of shots. And the vet's like, yeah, we're gonna give her a rabies shot, but she's, you know, been through a lot right now. So um, I have to go back in 10 days. Um, they're gonna check it, make sure everything's going good. She's on an antibiotic, she's on pain, some pain meds. Um, and I do have to keep doing warm compresses like twice a day. So, but she is really, yesterday I worked, yesterday was Sunday, I worked 16 hours and, you know, I get to, I come home for lunch and I come home for dinner and, but my landlords are such wonderful people that they also, um, you know what, instead of saying landlords, I'm gonna say John and Kathy. <laughs> they knew I was doing a double, so they, um, you know, they come in, they let her out. She, I came home, came home at dinner time at six o'clock, and she was just like, we took her out. My uh, John was outside with their dog. And she was just running around like a puppy. She was just, I think that she just feels so much better that it's, it, that it's not there anymore. Um, I, you know, they're going to keep an eye on it, obviously, because if it does come back, um, fill up again, they are, will have to surgically remove it. But um, for now, she is doing so good. She really is. I mean, that's her typical. I'm going to sleep. We just took an hour long walk. So, you know, after her walk, she gets her little treat of chicken and then, you know, we, she hangs out. <laughs> so she is doing very well and I appreciate everybody asking about her and how she's doing. She really is doing well. So, um, today is my one and only day off. <laughs> so I have to do all the stuff that you do on, on a day off. Uh, laundry, I have to go to the grocery store, I have to go to the post office. Um, what else do I have to do? I got a lot to do in <laughs> in one day. I uh, wanna run to Michael's because they may, I'm looking for their you know, $5 grab boxes that uh, should be coming out soon. Um, one of the employees at my local Michael said that they may be out today. <laughs> so I want to take a trip to Michael's, see if I can get any of the $5 grab boxes. Um, not that I need more stuff, but I love watching people do them. So, I don't know, why not? Why not? So, um, and an update on the CPAP. So, I went, got my CPAP machine, and the gentleman explained how to how to use it. Um, you know, we tested it out, tried it on, did all that stuff, and um, it's I'm a mouth breather, which I never really put a lot of, you know, I never really thought about it. I just always have been a mouth breather, and this CPAP machine goes over your nose. And you have to keep your mouth shut. And so I tried it for, I did it for, he says, you know, give it four to seven days. So I did, I did my darndest, put it on my nose. I would try to relax, breathe through my nose, but it was three days of just hell. <laughs> and by Friday, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. I was not sleeping well at all. I mean, worse than I normally do. So Friday I called, um, called them and I'm, before I called them, I'm like going, they're going to give me a hard time. I haven't given it enough time. You know, 
this, that, and the other thing. And so, but I, and I was just so frustrated because I was just, oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. And then I was, you know, worrying about Amanda. So it was just, oh, so I called them on Friday and I already had, you know, I was already like, not riled up, but like ready to argue with them because I was, you know, waiting for them to say, eh, you didn't give it enough time, blah, 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 blah. So I got this wonderful woman on the phone and I'm like, look, I didn't realize, I mean, I know I'm a mouth breather, but I didn't realize, and you know, I explained the situation. She's like, no problem. It happens all the time. People don't realize it. And I was just like, it was like <sighs> such a big weight off my shoulders. Oh my goodness. It really was. She's like, um, she's like, I have to send something to your, the, um, sleep doctor, um, to get approval for a different mask. They're going to give me one of those like oxygen masks that goes over your nose and your mouth. Um, which I know will be so much better. Um, so they're sending the approval. They, Friday morning, they sent it over to them, to him. He's got to sign it, send it back to them, and then they're going to send me a new mask. So I am <laughs> so happy. I can't wait to get that mask and try again. <laughs> but, um, so I think that's pretty much all of the updates. Um, I'm gonna, this is still pretty tacky. I'm gonna, um, pause you guys, let it percolate a little bit, and, uh, we'll see how well I peel. <laughs> okay, so I am back, and I have some of Amanda's dry food here, because she can't have any treats, so I just wanted you to see. She's perky, she's doing so well. I'm not gonna show you what it looks like, because it's, you know, not the nicest thing to look at. <laughs> Some people may be squeamish. Um, I was when they were um, removing everything, but I still got it, you know, I got to hold her and, you know, like I said, she did so good. So, um, I go. Yeah, everybody wants to make sure you're okay. Um, this is feeling a little itchy. So I'm going to um, start to peel it. And yeah, I can always tell you that it hurts. <laughs> not quite as bad as, not really as bad as the other one. So yeah. Ah. Wow. It doesn't hurt. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's too bad it's itchy. Cause I, I don't want to use it again because it's it really my face really itches right now um but i am getting a nice peel and it's not hurting so way to go freeman i have another one that i'm going to use next week from freeman and it's a um oh cucumber i think so i'm going to use that look at that i uh, sorry if you were looking for <laughs> me to have a painful peel <laughs> No, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. So, um, nice. I recommend it for not being painful, but like I said, it, 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 it does itch a little, so, um, I'm happy to get it off. <laughs> um, okay, got a couple more treats for you. There we go. So, um, just a reminder, I do have my 9 at 75, um, giveaway going on and I will link that in the description box. Um, once I hit 975, I'm going to do a kind of a big giveaway. And also Robin from Robin's Closet. I will link her channel below. She is such a, such a super sweet, sweet woman. And we have been subscribed to each other for quite some time. She was one of the first people I found on YouTube or she found me. I think I found her. <laughs> She's got a lot more subscribers than I do, but, um, she is also doing a giveaway. It's, um, she is, I believe that she's running it till the end of May, but you'll have to watch cause I'm not sure. Um, she is running it till the end of May. 
Um, and you have to be subscribed to her channel and my channel. So she's trying to get me to a thousand, like a lot of, a lot of my uh, wonderful YouTube friends, um, are doing, which is so amazing. I'm just like, my skin feels nice and it didn't hurt. Um, which is just so wonderful. I have so many, there's so many wonderful people on YouTube that we just look out for each other and it's just really, eh, really wonderful so anyway she's doing a very quite a large giveaway from what she says and uh i believe it's gonna have some jeffree star stuff in there possibly so i'm gonna link her channel and i will link the um video that she does the giveaway in in the description box check her out if you don't know who robin is from robin's closet um she does so many unboxings it, it she finds some great boxes um and she's just a super super nice person <laughs> so check her out so all right my skin feels nice didn't hurt <coughs> excuse me and it smells nice it's not overly overpowering um it smells a little pomegranate all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching my Max Monday. Everything, everybody, and all the links and stuff, I will put in the description box. Thank you all for just your continuing support for me and this little girl here, my little sidekick. Yeah, you. Everybody loves you. Um, follow the hashtag Mask Monday Ladies and you will see all the wonderful ladies that do Mask Monday. Uh, there are a lot of us who do Mask Monday and I'm trying to be more consistent and do more, do my Mask Monday every Monday because it's just a good way to take care of yourself and pamper yourself and, you know, get to chat. So, all right guys, I hope that you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. And I hope you had a happy Mother's Day to all you moms and fur baby moms as well. And um, have a great week. I love you guys. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <music>